Welcome to Precision Cornea Center. This video will discuss the superficial keratectomy procedure. We will review how to prepare for your procedure, what to expect on the day of, and instructions to follow postoperatively. Let's begin with how to prepare for your superficial keratectomy procedure. In addition to the explanation provided by your doctor at your consultation visit, you will have received an information package about the procedure. Your physician may recommend this procedure for conditions such as anterior basement membrane dystrophy or Salzman nodules, for example, if they are affecting your vision or to provide a more regular corneal curvature in preparation for cataract surgery measurements. Although this is considered a minor procedure, some risks include infection, prolonged inflammation or poor healing. Here is what you need to bring to Precision Cornea Center. Your Ontario health card or other insurance coverage information and an updated list of all of your medications. Please leave all of your valuables at home. A responsible adult must accompany you and drive you home from our center on the day of your procedure. If you are under 18 years of age, a parent or legal guardian must accompany you. Please be aware that you will need to come in for a follow-up visit one day after your procedure. If you become ill or for any other reason are unable to keep your appointment for your procedure, please call our office the day before at 613-746-2244. Now let's talk about what to expect on the day of your superficial keratectomy procedure. Precision Cornea Center is located at 1730 St. Laurent Boulevard in Ottawa. Patient parking is available in front of our building in designated spots noted by the indicated signs. We are located on the main floor of the building. When you enter the clinic, you will need to present your Ontario Health Card or other insurance coverage information at the front desk. You will be greeted by our lovely front desk staff who will notify a member of the team that you have arrived. We will ask you a few questions to verify your medical information. You will be asked to sign a consent form confirming the procedure and the eye to be operated on. These multiple checks are done intentionally to ensure the quality and safety of your procedure. Just before your procedure, you will meet with your eye surgeon and the operating team, which may include a resident or a fellow working with your surgeon given their affiliation with the Ottawa Hospital. The team will review your medical information once more. This procedure is performed without sedation. You will be laying flat on a bed in the minor procedure room and will be awake throughout. Local anesthetic agents will be administered directly to your eye to provide a numbing effect in order to ensure minimal discomfort. A typical superficial keratectomy procedure takes approximately 5 to 10 minutes. Topical drops will be used to numb and sterilize the ocular surface. Your eyelids will then be cleaned and held open for the duration of the procedure with a device called a speculum. Your surgeon will direct you in terms of which direction to look at various points during the procedure. The following animation will help demonstrate the steps of the procedure. The superficial keratectomy procedure involves manual removal of the outermost surface layer of the cornea called the epithelium, removal of fibrotic nodules or additional polishing of the cornea with a device called a diamond burr may be necessary depending on your condition. The decision to perform a superficial keratectomy with or without polish or with the use of additional topical agents to reduce fibrosis or haze is typically based on the specific needs of the patient and is made on a case-by-case -case basis. At the end of your procedure, your surgeon will place a contact lens that acts like a bandage, allowing protection for the cornea while a new, healthy epithelial layer regenerates underneath. The surgeon typically removes this bandage contact lens after one to two weeks. A responsible adult must accompany you and drive you home from our center. There is usually mild discomfort several hours after the procedure. It is common to feel scratchiness and aching. If you experience pain, you can use topical lubricating eye drops or oral pain medications as directed by your doctor. You may resume your other regular medications as soon as you get home. Your surgeon will instruct you as to post-operative follow-up, which typically involves a visit at one day, one week, and one month after your procedure. Antibiotic drops will be applied to your eye after your procedure is complete, and you will then begin your post-operative drop regimen at home as prescribed. 
You will need to use your post-operative drops for one month after your procedure and an eye drop schedule will be provided as a guide. The eye typically feels comfortable within one to two weeks after the procedure. However, it is possible to experience blurry vision, redness, and light sensitivity for several weeks, which your physician will manage as needed. Post-operative precautions. It is important that you do not touch or rub your eye with your fingers. Please use your eye drops as instructed by your surgeon. Rest your eye often and lubricate periodically with artificial tears. Avoid exposure to dust, dirt, water, or makeup for two weeks after your procedure or as otherwise advised by your surgeon. In terms of activities, you can resume most of your usual daily activities such as reading and watching TV as the comfort of your eye permits. Your surgeon will let you know when it is safe for you to resume driving. Please feel free to ask your surgeon any other questions you may have at the follow-up appointment. In the weeks after your procedure, it is very important to call the office promptly if you have severe eye pain, worsening redness, or a sudden drop in vision. If you experience any post-operative problems and are unable to reach the office, please go to the emergency department at the Ottawa Hospital or at a hospital near you. Alternatively, you can email postop at precisioncornea.com and provide us with an explanation of the issues you're experiencing. If you live outside of Ottawa, please visit the nearest health center. Please note that the superficial keratectomy procedure may not necessarily improve your vision on its own, but rather serves to regularize your corneal curvature. Your vision may need to be further optimized with a new glasses prescription or cataract surgery if deemed necessary by your surgeon. If your surgeon is planning to perform cataract surgery, they will need good quality measurements of your eye for surgical planning. This is done no sooner than two months following your superficial keratectomy procedure in order to allow adequate time for healing. If you would like to review the information presented here again, this video can be found on the Precision Cornea Center website under the Patient Resources tab. And that's everything you need to know about your superficial keratectomy procedure journey.